hi guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to create your own custom hair brush so here what you want to do is so as you guys can see I have these little dots on this white background so mind you whenever you are creating a brush a customized brush you want to have it on a white background and whatever brush uh, shape you are creating should be in black as such as you guys can see on the screen now the reason why i have these little dots is because i'm just going to show you why so what i did is before creating these dots i actually created a whole hair strand like so and that's when i decided to have these little dots at the top so that's how you want to have that's how, what you want to do to create a hairbrush so what you want to do is you want to first create little hair strands like these like this as you guys can see at the top and then what you want to do is you want to um, add these little dots or draw these little dots at the starting points of those hair strands each and every hair strand and that's how the brush will end up looking I hope this is making sense you guys this is kind of tricky to explain but i hope you're getting what i'm trying to say here so that's why i had these little mini dots and also you want to make sure the background color is white it cannot be gray it cannot be the color that i have right now on the screen it should be white and only white now once you have that and once you're happy with how the results are going to come out you want to copy this layer and you want to obviously just go ahead and click the plus icon in the brush library like so and then you want to go ahead to shape and then you want to go ahead and click on to edit and you have to paste that copied layer right here and now hit done now just go back to stroke path here when you go back to stroke path you want to decrease spacing and you want to increase fall off now it all dep the fall off depends all on you so i always increase fall off and i'm creating a hairbrush because it actually makes those hair strands look more natural and more flowy in a sense i don't know how to explain it but you you are getting my point what i'm trying to say here so as you guys can see the ends of those hair strands are kind of faded and that's what we want then you want to go ahead to stabilization and you have to increase streamline according to your liking so i keep it here up to 61 percent. i cannot see it clearly like the percentage then you want to go ahead to properties and here you want to decide what what's the minimum size of the brush is gonna be so again it's totally up to you i keep it to 23 percent and that's how you create that's it you don't have to do any other setting other than what i just showed you but if you want you can always go ahead and play around with different settings so now here as you guys can see the brush is looking nice already it's really really fine so if you want those hair strands to be a little thicker then make sure to create even thicker dots so here i just started creating a little mini hair strand with using that brush just to show you guys how that brush is looking and actually it is looking really really nice i actually fast forwarded the whole thing so that you guys can see how the whole result looks like and it actually ended up looking pretty nice and pretty natural and pretty realistic. So that was a quick, quick video on how to create your own customized hairbrush on Procreate. It's actually really, really simple, you guys. You don't really have to do anything. It's very simple. The brush came out to be so good and the results, you guys can see it on the screen. The hair are actually looking pretty natural, pretty realistic, and I am actually liking this brush a lot. So it's that easy. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this mini, this really quick, quick tutorial on how to create your own hairbrush. You can create your whole brush set, hairbrush set using this technique. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I'm really sorry for all the background noises that kept coming in throughout the video. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.